Hello dear students I know you all are safe and healthy with your parents at your home in this tough situation I am praying to God to bless you very good health and safety from covid-19 dear students it's time to keep endurance I know it is hard to make patience because your study is going into ruin but no problem life is everything if life is remain we shall continue our study again my dear students i will be always with you i will continually upload video lectures to make your study easy if you have any query you can ask me through whatsapp or through sms god bless you all so let us start our fourth lecture in this lecture we shall discuss about inductors in my previous video lectures i have already discussed about the resistors and capacitors in this lecture we shall discuss about inductors inductor is one of the passive component which is used in electronic circuits it can store energy in the form of magnetic field and delivers it as and when required when electric current passes through a conductor lines of magnetic flux are generated around it this magnetic flux opposes any change in current due to the induced emf this opposition to the change in current is known as inductance and the component producing inductance is known as inductor the unit of inductance is henry denoted by capital h the induced emf is given by e is equal to minus of l di upon dt where e is induced emf in volts at any instant l is induced inductance in henry and di upon dt rate of change of current the negative sign in the above equation indicates that the induced emf opposes the cause of the change in current basically an inductor is a coil of copper wire wound around a core made up of a ferromagnetic material you can see the constructional view of an inductor on the screen the inductance of the coil is given by the following equation which is visible on the screen where mu0 is permeability of free space which is equal to 1.25 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 henry per meter mu r is relative permeability of the core material capital a is area of cross section of the core capital n is number of turns of the coil and l is length of the core hence we can say that the value of inductor depends upon the following factors number of turns permeability of the core material and size of core you can see the classification of uh, inductors on the screen inductors are broadly classified into two categories fixed inductors and variable inductors types of fixed inductors are air core inductors iron core inductors and ferrite core inductors air core inductors you can see various type of air core inductors and its symbol on the screen it is that inductor in which a coil of wire un on a hollow former made of ordinary cardboard since there is nothing but air inside of the coil so it is known as air core inductor it has a least inductance for a given number of turns and core length in radio frequency applications where very low inductance is required air core inductors are used iron core inductors you can see the figure and its symbol on the screen it is that inductor in which a coil of wire is wound over a solid or laminated iron core we all know that iron as a core inside an inductor increases its inductance in order to avoid high stresses and eddy current losses iron core is laminated it means it is made up of thin iron laminations pressed together but insulated from each other it is also called a choke it is used in low frequency applications such as as filter circuits power supplies 
etcetera ferrite core inductors you can see the figure and its a symbol on the screen in this inductor coil of wire is wound on a solid core made up made of highly ferromagnetic substance called ferrite ferrite is a solid material consisting of fine particles of iron powdered embedded in an insulating binder a ferrite core has minimum eddy current loss iron core inductors are not suitable for high frequency applications this difficulty is overcome by the use of ferrite core the value of such inductors is in the range of few micro henry to few milli henry it is used in rf chokes regulated type dc power supplies and in communication equipments variable inductors you can see the figure and its symbol on the screen in certain applications such as tuned circuits it is required to vary the inductance from a minimum value to a maximum value ferrite core variable inductors are generally used for this purpose in this inductor a hollow former on which the coil is wound has screwed threads are provided on the ferrite core which can be screwed in or out of the former because of the change of the position of the ferrite core the value of the inductance changes now let us discuss about mutual inductance when two coils are placed very near to each other the changing magnetic flux of one coil linking with the other produces an induced emf in the other coil these two coils are then said to have mutual inductance mutual inductance is denoted by capital m the equation of mutual inductance is shown on the screen where mu0 is permeability of free space which is equal to 1.25 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 henry per meter mu r is relative permeability of the core material a is area of cross section of the core n1 is number of turns of primary coil n2 is number of turns of secondary coil and l is length of the magnetic path an induced emf which is produced in in the second coil will be e is equal to m di upon dt if di upon dt is equal to 1 ampere per second and induced emf e is equal to 1 volt then mutual inductance m is equal to 1 henry so we can say that two coils have a mutual inductance of 1 henry if a current change of 1 ampere per second in one coil induces 1 volt in the other coefficient of coupling two coil are said to be magnetically coupled if full or part of the flux produced by one coil links with the other if they are closer to each other then the coupling between them is tighter if no flux from one coil links with the other then coupling between the two coils is zero this coupling effect is measured in terms of coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling is denoted by k the equation of uh, coefficient of coupling is shown on the screen where l1 is inductance of the first coil l2 is inductance of the second coil and m is mutual inductance between the two coils when magnetic flux produced by one coil does not link with the other coil then coefficient of coupling will be equal to 0 if all the flux produced by one coil links with the other then coefficient of coupling will be 1 inductors can also be connected in series and parallel similar to resistors and capacitors combination of inductors in series you can see the figure on the screen when inductors are connected in series having no mutual inductance then the equivalent inductance can be find by the help of given equation which is shown on the screen parallel combination when inductors are connected in parallel having no mutual inductance then the equivalent inductance can be find by the help of following equation which is shown on the screen you can see the parallel combination of inductors on the screen